y'all. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing okay. Listen, I cannot sleep tonight, so I figured that I'm going to get up and do some deep cleaning to my pots and pans. You see them right before you. I'm pretty sure you've seen them in some of my videos that I've done, and I feel like now that I'm doing the cooking shows, it's time to do some deep cleaning. Although the insides get clean, but y'all know how this outside grease get caked up, all of that. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, so, don't judge me because I'm pretty sure everybody's pots and pans probably look like this. One or two of them. <laughs> so, I'm going to be wearing gloves. I'm already kind of ashy because I've put my gloves on already. My square pan which is my favorite pan, this one looks horrible too, even on the sides. So I'm just trying to get you all to see what it looks like before because it's not going to look like that when I get done. Even my baking, even my baking sheet pans, they kind of got a burnt glare on them, all of that. They are clean, but... I want them to look a little bit better. This pan, it's got an orange yellow film to it. That's because I use a lot of turmeric when I bake my chicken. So that's where that, anybody who knows something about using turmeric, it's an Indian um, seasoning, it will stain your pan. So I'm gonna get all of that off. At least I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to it. I feel I can't. I can't. I feel like I can. So, my big pot, it ain't that bad, but I'm going to get that too. All of that stuff that's that grease that's on the side. Let me show y'all what I'm going to be using. Normally, when I clean my pots and pans, I use this um, cleaner called Barkeeper's Friend, but I don't have any. So, what I'm going to be using is Dr. Bonner's Castile Soap, Pure Soap. And I've used this before, it's the bomb. I got a Brillo pad. I got a scrub, a new scrub pad that I'm gonna be using. And I got my handy dandy, handy dandy lemon and vinegar mixture. This is what I spray my kitchen down with every night. So I'm gonna be using both of those products, the only two products, okay? So I'll bring y'all back when I get ready to put the product on and let it sit. And I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to take y'all through this process. Because y'all may want to do y'all's pots and pans. So since I do how-to videos, I figured I'll do pots and pans cleaning. I'll bring y'all back. Alright, y'all. So I uh, forgot that I had some baking soda. So I ended up putting... um of uh, some Dr. Bonner's. I squirted it with the vinegar and the lemon juice. And so that's the white stuff that you see with the baking soda. So I'm gonna get this spread out. It's gonna make a paste, of course. So I'm just gonna get this spread out all over. I'm gonna squirt some more of this soap. And these are these three things are, are of course no chemicals. So I'm just making a paste. And then I'll bring y'all back when I start scrubbing, okay? All right, so I got the mixture sitting on here. It's been probably about six minutes, I'll say. Just put, and this flavor is tea tree. The Dr. Bummer soap that I'm using is the tea tree. All right. First, some more of the liquid, which is the vinegar and the lemon juice. And it's gonna get scrubbing. Let's see what we got so far. You want to put a towel up under your table, y'all. Well, I got a towel up under mine. That way the towel can catch anything that run over. And I'm not going to do much talking because this is, this is a video where you need to see what I'm doing. 
gotta get the sides too. All right, y'all, so I'm not going to run up a video uh, of y'all watching in real time. I'm going to keep scrubbing. As you see, I got a long way to go. So I'll bring y'all back when I'm going to rinse. All right. So I have moved over to the sink because I need to rinse this stuff off. And I got my hot water running because that's what I want to rinse it in, hot water, okay? So it may be kind of not noisy, but I'll probably do this video with no sound and just use words on the mirror. Look at all of that would have come off already. You can see the stainless steel now. It's probably gonna take another go, but that got a lot of that stuff off. I'm just gonna scrub. I got the, the sink over here stopped up with um so the hot water can be working on it. So this time I'm going in with something. A little different. I want to see what Mean Green can do. I've used Mean Green before, and I really love it. I'm just going to see what it does. So this is a degreaser as well. So I just want to throw it with this for a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to put y'all on pause, and then I'm going to come back and let you know when I'm getting ready to rinse it again, okay? Because I want y'all to see the rinse process to see how this is working, okay? Okay, so we are about to do the rinse. This is rinsing off the mean green, okay? We'll see how that did. But it ain't gonna be this round. So I'm probably gonna have to do it again. But I just want y'all to see what it looks like. See how shiny it is? It looks so much better. I'm waiting to see how the square pan gonna look. Yeah. That looks a lot better. So I'm gonna move to my skillet. So I'll bring y'all back when it's time to um when I when I am ready to do the square pot pan, okay? Okay, y'all, I'm back at the prep table, and I'm pleased with the job that it did, but I do know I'm going to have to do it again in about another month or so, so that's the medium skillet. So we got all of that, well, not all of it, but I'm kind of pleased with it, what it did. So that's that one. And then, let me wipe them down. For the baking pans, I'm not pleased. So this just lets me know that turmeric cannot be used and these kind of pans. By the way, this these are Curtis Stone pans. So I'm not pleased with the back. Definitely not pleased with the inside because it's still orange and yellow. And I scrolled the hell out of these things. So I'm not pleased with that. And this one is pretty much the same. So I'm going to have to find another way to clean these. For those. Now, for the ones that was really, really, really bad, 
I'm pleased. Matter of fact, I'm really pleased. Let me show you this one. Remember this one? The edges didn't get all the way clean, but it got a little bit better. So that's that. And then I got my big pot. This one did really good. Like it's shiny. It cleaned the sides of this one. So I'm pleased with that one. Now, the one that I'm mostly pleased with out of all of them was the, <laughs> was the one that was definitely beat the hell up the most. That's the square pan, which is my favorite. This top right, I don't know why that's caked on so thick, but this is the only corner that really didn't get like the other three corners. So, this is how it turned out, y'all. Me cleaning my pans with Dr. Blunder's lemon juice, vinegar, baking soda, and mean green. I will post before and after pictures at the end. Thank y'all for cleaning pots and pans with me, and I hope y'all have a good day. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It's going to be greatly appreciated. I'm going to be trying to bring y'all good content. And, um, yeah, y'all have a good night, okay?